Hey everyone, Brent Farrell uh, with Dirt Bike Test. I uh, just got done doing some uh, some riding on the new 450 off-road bikes. Uh, a little background on me, I'm a uh, uh, 6'5", 230 pound, uh, 50 plus expert Grand Prix desert rider. So a little off maybe what might be considered the standard size. So maybe that uh, represents some value from, uh, uh, you know, kind of the alternate uh, uh, size rise for a rider of these, uh, these bikes. I currently ride uh, and race a uh, Husqvarna FX450, so this is a good test for me. It kind of sits right in my normal uh, bike, ride, bike type. Uh, for, the, for today, we're really looking at mostly kind of first impressions. So uh, we spent time on each bike, but haven't really started playing around with anything to really get any fine tuning done. Uh, for me, I would say uh, it's hard, really hard to put these bikes in order because every one of them is absolutely a bike I could make work for me and my riding style with just a, a little bit of normal individual setup. Uh, probably starting from the bottom of the list though for me would probably be the Yamaha, which is mostly because it's it was suspension wise probably the least balanced for me at my weight. And I think the mapping isn't quite where I want it for my riding style. I, I feel like I would have no trouble making that bike a great bike for me. I just I think it's probably a little further away than a couple of the other bikes. The KTM, the Honda felt, you know, kind of like they fell in the middle for me. Both are excellent bikes. I, I enjoyed riding each of them. I felt like uh, I could get on and feel comfortable on each and have a, have a bike that I was able to trust in a very short period of time. The, it doesn't have the speed of the Yamaha. The YZ is definitely the fastest of the bunch, but in some cases that actually works a little bit against you. But the, the Honda and the Gas Gas had, to me, a little bit more of a usable power, at least with the stock mapping, and gave me something that I could feel comfortable on faster. Uh, but both of those bikes, obviously the Gas Gas felt a lot like my race bike. Uh, both of those bikes felt comfortable to me. I, I'm rating the Kawasaki as the top of my list, at least for the moment. You know, this is kind of before we start personalizing bikes and even even getting like spring rates and basic stuff like that. Uh, the Kawasaki for me just felt like it was just the easiest and most maybe kind of general appeal bike. It was easy to ride, it didn't wear you out, and it felt like it was a really good base to start developing from. So I, I don't think any of these bikes is is something that you couldn't go out and immediately have fun on and with a few tweaks, customize it to your personal needs. Uh, I was, but I was definitely a little surprised of just kind of how they stacked up. I, I, was, I was impressed by a lot of the bikes. Every one of them had something positive that, they all, that I took away and very few negatives, really. Uh, I think it was every one of them I got off feeling like that's an absolutely a capable bike and it's just a matter of now starting to kind of make some fine tuning for each rider's personal preferences and size and weight to really kind of start figuring out what's the best bike to you know make somebody their own so what one thing i would point out if you're a tall guy like me and you're looking for a bike that's easily customizable that kawasaki is tough to beat multiple positions for your bars and to, at a high low position for the foot pegs that's the only bike that gives those options. I haven't even put them in the low position yet, something I'm looking forward to trying, but I really appreciate a bike that has that level of customized uh, ergonomics right out of the box. Not having to go and buy a bunch of aftermarket parts just to make the, the rider triangle fit the way you want. And obviously as a rider that's a little outside of the norm size-wise, that's something that appeals a lot to me. So that's it, appreciate it, signing out.